So Curtis Stevens defeats Toriano Johnson with a 10th round TKO in a fight that he was losing and it was definitely a very controversial stoppage. Toriano Johnson is from Nassau, Bahamas and typical of Caribbean fighters. He's very strong. I don't know what it is down there about training down in the uh, equator region but you get more strength. I always found that you get more strength when you train down there near the equator for some reason. But whatever the case may be, Toriano Johnson came out from the opening bell, pushed Curtis Stevens back against the ropes and was dominating him. He was outworking him in uh, pretty much every round, Antonio Margarito style. He was relentless. And Stevens' punches were more explosive, but Toriano Johnson was a lot more consistent. And there was a couple of occasions there where Stevens did break through and managed to hurt Toriano Johnson. One thing I'll say about Stevens, he was more explosive and he appeared to have more punching power. Toriano Johnson d doesn't seem to be a really concussive puncher, but like I say, very consistent and he was outworking Curtis Stevens. And finally, in the 10th round, it looked like Stevens was down by a very wide margin. His corner were telling him that he's fighting with no heart and it looked like he was going to lose, but Toriano Johnson couldn't play it safe. He left himself open. He wanted to push Curtis Stevens all the way to the final bell. And he left himself open and he got caught with a big shot and he was hurt. He went reeling backwards. Curtis Stevens went in, landed a flurry against the ropes. The shots were not getting through that cleanly. Uh, some of them, some of them were, some of them weren't. And the referee jumped in very quickly. Now, I do think it was a premature stoppage considering the fact that Toriano Johnson was obviously ahead on the cards. He should have let him go a little bit more. But... At the same time, Toriano Johnson should have been more careful in the final round. His his corner should have told him to be more careful because they saw in an, one of the earlier rounds that Curtis, Steven, Curtis Stevens was able to buzz to Toriano Johnson. Even though he held it together, he was able to buzz him. So they should have told him, look, just play it safe, keep it tight, don't do anything wild, don't don't make any mistakes, and uh, you'll get the victory on, on the cards. But you know, it wasn't to be. And <laughs> from it, just in my opinion, I think that the referee did Curtis Johnson a favor and I think the referee was hoping to do Curtis Johnson uh, sorry Curtis Johnson Curtis Stevens sorry was hoping to do Curtis Stevens a favor um, by jumping in that's just my humble opinion so um yeah can't take nothing away from Stevens he he landed his shots at the end of the day Toriano Johnson needs to go back to the drawing board and yeah I know they're gonna blame the referee I know they're gonna talk about controversy but he shouldn't have got hit with that shot in the first place at the end of the day so drop your comments below let me know how you felt about this performance Stevens has never really impressed me ever throughout his whole career you know this guy lost to Jesse Brinkley I ain't dissing the guy but he's never struck me as a true world level middleweight uh, you know he's a decent fighter but nothing nothing special in the middleweight division and um, I think this further proves it so anyway drop your comments below this is Hatman I'm out